I'm Marcus Crenshaw, I'm a professional basketball player um, for KK Centur, and I am also an artist as well, just coming out trying to get my foot in the door, so I put out my first song. Well, I was in Poland last season and my agent, um, Boris Goretz, is actually from Slovenia, so it was just a place to, you know, come and get my feet wet, get my foot in the door in Europe and try to prove myself so I can go up to higher levels. I didn't get um, drafted in the NBA or anything, so Europe is pretty much the next best place and the next best step for basketball in general, so that's why I made the decision. Something that I really would, you know, wish to play in, like a dream situation, you know, just and not only because of the money, just because I would be home by my family and they still get to watch me play basketball, just like as if I was in college or in high school. So. Just, it's not obsession to me. Really, obsession is just being successful in life in general with me. Like, whether it be basketball, whether it be music, whether it be using my degrees that I got in college later on in life, it's just becoming successful in terms of my situation in general. So it's, you know, it's not necessarily just like obsession. It's just, I want, you know, I want to do it, but it's just being successful in life in general is what I have an obsession for. I'm open, I'm open for every, I'm open for any club, any league. Um, my short term goal is just to continue to play basketball and continue to, you know, play hard as I can and continue to show myself and that's that's pretty much you know my short-term goal it's not a certain club or a certain place or a certain country or anything like that just to continue to play hard and stay on the court as much as I can well one thing about me is I really don't have any favorite players and also I'm not gonna say them if I do because I don't free promote people like I don't give people promotion because they're not on the camera on the other end saying, yeah, Marcus Crenshaw, you know. So I don't free promote people. So, I mean, I have some players that I've looked up to in the past, but no. <laughs> no favorite players. I actually did play other sports. I actually played football just as much as I played basketball. American football. Yeah. Not kickball or soccer. Not soccer. Soccer. Yeah. <laughs> I played, I played uh, American football up until like late high school, maybe like 17. And then like I got a little too small for that. Those guys were huge, man, killing people and breaking arms and stuff. And I just didn't want my arm or neck broke at the time, you know? So I just decided to just play basketball and it was something I just took off. Just just, just tall, but not trying to snap my neck, you know? Like, just, you know, for, you seen, have you ever seen American football? Stuff is dangerous, so. I, yeah, I just decided to just play basketball because it's much safer. It was a big shock because I came from California to Europe. So California is like bright lights, big city. Everything is big. Everything is huge. Clubs are big. Food, a lot of food places. Like, takes two hours to get from point A to point B. And then to come to Shintour, like, it takes one second to get from point A to point B. Like, it takes one second for me to get to the gym to my house, to the food place, to the studio. It takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> no, it's just a smaller place, smaller community, much safer. No violence and guns going off in the middle of the night and dogs trying to bite you and stuff. So it's pleasant. It's, it's like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, it's a little difficult situation, you know. Just dealing with like a lot of people just staring at you like, who is this guy? You know, just looking crazy. It's just <laughs> that situation is, is a little touchy situation. But other than that, these people, the people here have, you know, been pretty good to me. They've been nice, you know, and talk talk to me, help me out when I need direction and everything. So I like the place. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. I was actually um, coming back from the gas station and it was like two cars of just guys. It was like a car, like big as this water bottle, a small car. And it was like six guys in this car. And then it was like five guys in another car, little as this. 
little cars, man. And they was like, like, hey, black guy, and all this crazy stuff, you know. So I just took off running, like, through up a hill. And they chased me, like, through with cars. So I had to duck off and hide somewhere so they can drive by because it was dark outside. So some crazy guys, man. Guys packed in a car, chasing you. It's just a situation where you got to run, you know, so. Yeah, that's why I moved to the police station so I can have 24-hour protection. <laughs> I just moved to the police station because it was better suitable for me as far as living conditions. Oh yeah, it's been pretty good. Like, I mean, sometimes I went places and they, you know, talked to a few guys and like, it's been certain restaurants I went into where like, you know, they gave me free things or like a certain place. They was like, just here, just take it. Like, So I didn't steal it. Don't call the police. I did not steal it. So. You know, just give me a little free things, like as far as like drinks and stuff, like it's on me, stuff like that. Like I go, they like, here, take this Coke, it's on me. So people have pretty much been nice, you know, just, and kids are real nice. I just feel like I'm a normal person, just like anybody else. No matter how big I get and how much success I, uh, how much success I obtain, I still feel like I'm just like anybody else. So I never say star because star means like, you putting yourself over everybody and I would never put myself over anybody no much how no matter how much success I obtain. Money was a nickname given to me um because of my you know my jump shot and my ability to shoot the ball on the court. Like every time I used to shoot, they would be like, that's money, that's money, like you know that's money. It was just a saying first and then it became like that's money Crenshaw. And then it became, let's go get a sign with money on the front of it. So it just took off from there. Just something that was a trend that someone said that just took off that I ran with. And as far as the problem, it was a nickname given to me in high school. Because I guess they would say, I'm small, but I'm, I'm a problem on the court for a lot of defenders. So it was just, they used to just call me the problem. So that's just how the nicknames came. They were both given to me, nothing I made up.